Governor Dave Reeves and his Democratic opponent, Brandon Presley, lit up the stage at the Neshoba County Fair with their speeches today. 12 News, Brian Brown and Richard Lake join us live from the fairgrounds with more on what they had to say. Byron. Well, Jeremy, one of the biggest issues that came out today was health care and what both candidates will do about the struggling hospitals here in Mississippi. They address those issues. And, Richard, uh, what are they saying about those issues of health care in Mississippi? Right. We'll start with Brandon Presley. You know, as we've seen, central to, to his entire campaign has been banging the drum of, of the health care issues in this state and whether it's advocating for Medicaid expansion or continuing to attack Governor Reeves on his record on health care. Health care came up many times uh, during and after Presley's speech. On the other hand, Governor Reeves uh, really didn't made no mention of the ongoing crisis in Mississippi. He did mention it as it relates to his advocacy for, for, for better paying jobs that have private insurance. Uh, and he also mentioned it after talking to reporters. There's no doubt that we've got more work to do when it comes um, to our health care system. We've got we to have more uh, availability of health care um, throughout our state. We've got to have more accessibility to health care throughout our state. And we've got to make sure that, that we can make health care more affordable throughout our state. My view is that the best way to do that is get more people uh, with more and better and higher paying jobs. When I ran for governor, I made it clear. I didn't run for governor to try to hide our challenges. I ran for governor to try to fix them. This man gets an F minus on health care, and on his watch, we're losing health care jobs. Hospitals are closing down. He's a failure on health care. He knows it. The voters of Mississippi know it. And unfortunately, 157 people laid off at St. Dominic, over 100 at North Mississippi Medical Center. We got a hospital closed down in Vicksburg. The CEO of Delta Health Services said last week, Tate Reeves doesn't understand. I'll add to that. He doesn't understand. He doesn't care. Now, the CEO of Delta Health Services, Iris Stacker, said that the hospital system doesn't understand, quote, why Tate Reeves doesn't understand why he needs a healthy workforce after they announced a round of layoffs. Yeah, a lot to talking about there today with, when it comes to health care and a lot of Absolutely. other issues that made the crowds kind of yell and shout mm -hmm. as well. All right, we're going to have much more coming up tonight at uh, 5 o'clock. We're going to talk about the Secretary of State's office and that race for the Secretary of State. Then at 6, we'll have much more on the governor's race. We're live here in the Shelby County Fair. Byron Brown, Richard Lake, Jeremy Walt, now back to you.